Okay, a few weeks ago when I first created this video, I was trying to show people how they delete some content they don't need, save some space. Uh, much to my surprise, when I started Flight Simulator back up, it simply reinstalled the content. Well, there's been a patch. Uh, now it doesn't do that, so let's go through how to save some space on your hard drives. By the way, if you're really limited with space and you have another hard drive, preferably an SSD, here's a link to another video that you can just move your entire installation. But if you're stuck with one hard drive and you need a little more space, uh, let's continue. Some you're not going to be able to delete. This is the basic program at 79 uh, gigabytes, so about 80 gig. Um, it's not going anywhere. Now there's basically two types of content. One is aircraft and one is uh, the rest of the world. And for example, here you see X-Cub. Uh, that's an aircraft. It's pretty big. It's 300 megabytes. But there's several other types of content. There's landing challenges, for example. Uh, you see those uh, other training. Just go down a list here and see uh, what you want. Maybe an airport you're never going to uh, go see. So do that. Check each one of these. So once you determine them, they're very easy to uh, highlight and uh, delete. For example, if we go uh, back up here to the very top, you see you cannot click on that, and it will not highlight for deletion. Uh, so you're going to have to stick with that 75 uh, gigabytes of, out of the 95 installation. But if you come down to another one of these, all you have to do is say, oh, I don't want the landing challenge anymore. I click on that, and then I hit the delete button. So let's do one for an example. I'm going to get rid of this landing challenge here temporarily at least. Uh, so I'm just going to click here. And by the way, they have a version history tracking. It'll tell you all the different updates to this if there's new versions. And for whatever reason, you can take a look at that. I'll probably be able to delete uh, versions before. Uh, but anyways, we want to say yes here. And you're going to see here when it does that, it immediately changes uh, the status. And it shows that it's available for download. Okay. And... So later you'll be able to uh, download it in case you decide you need that training session after all. And just like you might expect with any other uh, checkboxes, you can click on more than one uh, there and go down here and choose exactly which ones you want to delete in one fell swoop. So once you've identified challenges or things or uh, things you want to, don't think you need, for example, flight training. If you think you're good, uh, just remember you're going to have to download it again if you need to learn something. Of course, you can go to the top up here, and you can uh, determine you want to just toggle all of them. Again, you'll notice that the mandatory packages doesn't get uh, checkmarked. Uh, but again, you don't want to do that. You just want to go through here and just get rid of the things that are truly uh, things that you're never going to need. So there you have it. You can get rid of a few uh, gigabytes of uh, data here. Uh, so just go to the content manager, and you should be good to go. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.